hi so now we will see uh, some of the previous year questions on conduction topic as in various states okay so first question if it is not visible i i am reading the question you just uh, understand what i am written according to fourier's law the quantity of heat of flow like in conduction we have studied the fundamental or governing law for conduction the first one basic uh, fundamental formula for conduction which is q equal to minus k a dt by dx so this is the question direct question they asked the fundamental <coughs> according to fourier law the quantity of heat of flow that is heat is q which is equal to minus k a into dt by dx okay it is very easy question thermal diffusivity of a substance there is one formula for thermal diffusivity okay so formula based if you remember formula you can easily uh, answer this type of dairy question so thermal diffusivity alpha which is equal to k by rho cp thermal diffusivity is not given in your syllabus but you do remember the formula for thermal diffusivity alpha equal to k by rho cp okay in this question thermal diffusivity of a substance is an answer options inversely proportional to so you should know the meaning for all those things k means thermal conductivity rho is a intensive property rho is the density cp is the specific heat okay so thermal diffusivity of a substance is inversely proportional to thermal conductivity directly proportional to thermal conductivity inversely proportional to square of thermal conductivity inversely proportional to sorry directly proportional to square of thermal conductivity by seeing the formula itself we can say that thermal diffusivity is directly proportional to thermal conductivity so if you know the formula only you can able to answer this question so that the thermal diffusivity formula in conduction you please do remember which is alpha is equal to k by rho cp okay now the laplace equation is actually in the one dimensional heat conduction equation for cartesian coordinate there is one derivation do square t by do x square plus do square t by do y square plus do square t by do z square plus q dot by k is equal to 1 by alpha into do t by do t okay so if the this is a one dimensional heat conduction equation for cartesian coordinate okay they will consider one small rectangular object in that how much amount of heat is conducted how much amount of energy is absorbed okay so that it, it is a very big derivation at the end of the derivation they have found one equation which is this okay in this <coughs> do square t by do x square do square t by do y square plus do square t by do z square this is the heat generation okay that is the heat variation temperature variation with respect to time okay that is a temperature variation in the element temperature rise in the element okay that is do t by do t okay that is change in temperature with respect to time okay that will not be there for laplace this is the one dimensional heat conduction equation for cartesian coordinates if there is no heat generation means then this term will not come okay general equation is whole thing if there is no heat generation means do square t by do x square do square t by do y square do square t by do z square is equal to 1 by alpha into do t by do tau do t or do tau if there is a if that is equation is laplace equation and there is no unsteady state okay temperature will not vary with respect to time it is a steady state kind of assumption so do square t by do x square plus do square t by do y square do square t by do z square is equal to 0 this is the laplace equation derived from the one dimensional steady state heat conduction equation from cartesian coordinates or this whole term you can say delta square t equal to 0 this is the laplace equation okay thermal conductivity in the ratio of 3 is to 2 what is the temperature drop so these all conduction equations you should know the basic uh, governing law for conduction equation okay for conduction what is the basic governing law for conduction which is q is equal to minus k a dt by dx you just uh, uh, do not consider the negative sign q equal to k a dt by dx okay if i substitute t1 minus uh, t2 minus t1 then i will put minus 
I will I am going to substitute T1 minus T2 so that it will not be a minus sign ok. So Q is equal to Ki into dt by dx so that it will become uh, positive ok. Here you can say the thermal conductivity K is thermal conductivity K which is inversely proportional to delta T ok. Now here the conductivity of the two plates they have given ok which is 3 is to 2 let us take K1 by K2 ok. I can uh, I know that K is inversely proportional to delta T ok. So, if delta T increases thermal conductivity will come down if thermal conductivity higher the conductivity lesser the delta T ok. So, K1 by K2 is equal to delta T2 by delta T1 ok. So, that I can say K1 by K2 is equal to delta T by T2 by delta T1 which is given as 3 by 2. So, delta T2 by delta T1 I got 3 by 2 but my question is what is delta T1 by delta T2. So, answer is 2 by 3. So, that it is given 2 is to 3 or 2 by 3 that is the answer for this question ok. Next same the ratio of Q1 by Q2 from 2 walls of same thickness having thermal conductivity K1 is equal to 2 K2. This is also by using same Fourier law of heat conduction I am going to solve this. How to solve this type of problem? There are as given the ratio of Q1 by Q2 from two walls of same thickness. You take this is one wall and this is another wall both are having same thickness. Let us take this is also L and this is also L. There is no change in the thickness of two wall and they are given 